Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we move our chicken tractor and a few updates we've done inside the coop. Alright, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, use the rebar, put a wheel on each side. Alright, so if you're just by yourself, um, the easiest way we found is to use the dolly, but if you have two people, you don't need the dolly, you can just each grab a side. But yeah, you basically just lift it up and just go nice and slow, and they move with it. All right, we got the tractor moved forward. Next step is make sure you take these wheels off because the chicks will come underneath and they'll get out on you. Okay, so we found with how many birds we have in here, which is about 60, um, we need to move them every one to two days. Uh, it gives them new grass to forage on. And let's head inside and we'll show you a few things we've done. So the reason we use chicken tractors is it makes it really easy to uh, get these chickens onto fresh grass um, whenever you want. That way they're not just sitting in their own filth and they get um, fresh grass to forage on and bugs to eat. Okay, so this feeder we built is just a four inch piece of PVC pipe and you cut it down the middle. So you basically get two feeders out of it. And um, it's strung to the top, so as you move the chicken tractor, this thing just goes right with it. You don't have to worry about it. And we're going to top off their feed. And the feed we use is a locally milled, um, organic, non-GMO feed. It's filled peas and wheat mostly. And they just love this stuff. So birds, uh, they don't have teeth or a way to chew stuff, so you do need to give them... Uh, Supplemental grit, which is basically small pieces of rock, and this helps them break down the food in their gizzard. So our water setup is a five gallon bucket, and it's tied directly into the tractor, so it moves with the tractor when you move it. And it's just eight of the little chicken nipples, and they'll come up and peck them, and small bits of water will come out. And you don't need to train them or anything. They just know what to do and once one starts doing it all of them will. Um, it's a good way to not waste water and plus it holds five gallons. So we added one roost in here so far um, and they actually seem to be liking it a lot. They jump right up here and, and just hang out. They're not sleeping up here yet but we're as they're getting bigger we're going to add a couple more in here. So this is kind of our mystery chick. Uh, she was supposed to be a buff Orpington, and she definitely does not look like one. If any of you guys watching have any idea what kind of bird this is, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments, because we do not really know. So this tractor's full of primarily our egg layers, and we do have 15 red rangers mixed in with them too and those are a meat bird and these all range from about four to six weeks in age so as you can tell these chicken tractors they make it really easy for anyone that uh, wants to get into raising birds and um, the best thing about these tractors is you can actually stand up in them and if you want to see how we built this one uh, you can check out our other videos
Thank you.